Hello Stevies! Happy Fury Friday! I am excited for this episode because this episode means in two days, this Sunday, we are having the Great Plains Moto Meat Ride, which brings up a question. My question for you is, do you like to ride solo or do you like to ride in a group? Now there was a time back in the day when we had like our own little, we had our own little group that we rode with. We rode all the poker runs together when we were more involved with the hog chapter. Um, we did all the events together. We went out on on weekend rides together. We went we went on trips together to South Dakota, Eureka Springs, uh, Iowa, stuff like that. You know, I mean, we did we did days riding together you know and it was always just same same group I could name them all to you but I'm not gonna bore you um, but I loved riding in a group then I always ended up leading because I was one of the first guys to have GPS on my ultra but, and that's the only reason <laughs> and we I loved riding in that group but now I kind of prefer riding by myself not so much riding by myself but just me and Amy sometimes I still love riding with other people but I mean there's a lot of times that I prefer to ride alone but not not just alone I absolutely love to ride with my wife there was a, a long time there where she would only ride with me and then she got her own license and now she rides her own bike and I'm telling you I absolutely I love riding with her and it's we talk all the time we, I mean we've got Senna's now we never had Senna's before but we talk more than we ever did when she was riding behind me mostly because you know we couldn't hear each other <laughs> now I love riding in a group too don't get me wrong I, uh, I, I, I can't wait till this weekend it's gonna be a blast the people that are coming are gonna make it so much fun which if you don't know we are meeting at Frontier Harley Davidson at 11 a.m. May 30th, rain or shine, and it looks kind of like it's going to be a little bit of both so far with the forecast. Um, I know some people have said that they're going to woos out if it's raining, but I get it. Not everybody likes to ride in the rain. Actually, I don't think anybody likes to ride in the rain. I just don't mind it, I guess, is what what that comes down to but but when you're in a group I mean you've got to do what the group does right I mean you got to keep up with them you've got to you, you don't want to mess anybody else up you want to keep pace with them you know you you got to pay attention to hand signals and stuff and what's going on and and not everybody in the group might like to ride 200 miles at a shot you know they might only want to ride 100 miles so then you're pulling over for them Amy and I do that sometimes too. We only ride 100 miles and we'll stop, but a lot of times we'll go until we need gas. Um, which is everybody's, you know, individual deal. I mean, it's not, there's no wrong way to do it. There's no right way to do it. It's just ride your own ride. Back in the day when everybody else was getting six gallon tanks and they were telling me I needed to upgrade my bike so I could have a six gallon tank, I said, why? I said, we've got other people in the group that have five-gallon tanks. I said, you you all basically got five-gallon tanks, tanks too because you're all stopping when us five-gallon tanks need to stop. Oops, speeding. <laughs> but when you're by yourself, you don't have to worry about any of that. You're by yourself, you're like, hey, I gotta pee. And I don't have to stop 20 people. Or... Hey, I'm gonna get on it a little bit and ride a little fast for a little while. Um, big negatives of riding by yourself is there's only one bike to see instead of seeing a whole bunch of bikes. God forbid if you go down, you're all by yourself. You better hope you can crawl to your cell phone. When you're in a group, you've got other people to help. 
And if you're lucky, you've got a nurse or a doctor or something in your group too. But if you feel like you want to stop and see something, you can stop and see something. If you want to stop and get something to drink, you can stop and get something to drink. You don't have to wait for the consensus, you know? And that's not a bad thing either because, I mean, if you're not in a big hurry anyway, <laughs> because those stops turn into a lot longer stops too, which is a plus and a minus because you end up sitting there talking to everybody for a long time you know it's which isn't which is fun i enjoy being able to to talk to people which is why centers are so cool when uh rocky and shelly and amy and i went down to uh, eureka springs last year um shelly didn't have a full face helmet but rocky and amy and i we talked the entire way down there it was awesome and that trip seemed so fast because he had three people talking you know it was it was awesome it was so much fun having senna's especially in a group changes everything man it is beautiful out it's like 8 30 and it's still like 80 degrees look at that sunset we should get a picture of the bike somewhere with the sunset. Where are we going to do that at? Hmm, I got an idea. So yeah, now, now actually since I've gone over those all that stuff in my head um, and discussed it with you guys, I don't know. I think I'm on the fence now. I'm 50-50 riding with groups and riding by myself. I'm still 100% I love riding with my wife. I want her with me all the time when I ride now. I don't I don't not go out when she can't come with me, but uh, I would rather she did. I mean, it's um, it's something that we share together, and it's something that uh, even when we're old and gray, we're going to look back on, you know? I did catch a lot of crap in the last Fury Friday video, though, because I didn't show the bike much. Sorry. We will remedy that here in just a minute. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to find a neutral on this thing. Look at those clouds. That was a storm we thought we were going to get. That's why it took a while to go out tonight. It's a photo op time. That's pretty. Nebraska, man has got some beautiful sunsets I love this bike love it love it uh oh my brake light on? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Boy, that's bright at night. So it looks at night with the blinker on on the back. I like that tail light. Twelve ninety nine on the eBay. I'm not on the eBay. I don't shop on eBay. The Amazon, I mean. Sorry, I misspoke. I can't wait till they come out with the transition shield for the RF fourteen hundred. I didn't bring my clear shield because of who I am as a person. Also, for you guys that don't know, I am going to do an iron butt on the Fury this year. I'm not sure when, but I am going to do it. It would have been cool if Amy could have taken it on the great on the world record poker run. But yes, everybody, let us know down in the comments, which do you prefer? Would you rather ride in a group? Would you rather ride by yourself? Would you rather ride with just one or two people instead? So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.